Serach, Ecclesiasticus 48. Then stood up Eliyahu, the prophet, as fire, and his word burned like a lamp. He brought a sore famine upon them, and by his zeal he diminished their number. By the word of Yahuwah, he shut up the heavens, and also three times brought down fire. O oh, Eliyahu, how were you honored in your wondrous deeds, and who may glory like unto you? Who did raise up a dead man from death and his soul from the place of the dead by the word of El Elyon? Who brought kings to destruction and honorable men from their bed? Who heard the rebuke of Yahuwah in Sinai and in Chorev, the judgment of vengeance? Who anointed kings to take revenge and prophets? to succeed after him, who was taken up in a whirlwind of fire and in a chariot of fiery horses, who were ordained for reproofs in their times to pacify the wrath of Yahuwah's judgment before it broke forth into fury and to turn the heart of the Father unto the Son and to restore the tribes of Yaakov. Blessed are they that saw you and slept in love, for we shall surely live. Eliyahu it was, who was covered with a whirlwind, and Elisha, who f was filled with his ruach. While he lived, he was not moved with the presence of any prince, neither could any bring him into subjection. No word could overcome him, and after his death his body prophesied. He did wonders in his life, and at his death were his works marvelous. For all this the people repented not, neither departed from their sins, till they were spoiled and carried out of their land, and were scattered through all the earth. Yet... There remained a small people and a ruler in the house of David, of whom some did that which was pleasing to Elohim, and some multiplied sins. Yahiz Kiyahu fortified his city and brought in water into the midst thereof. He dug the hard rock with iron and made wells for waters. In his time, Can Kheriv came up and sent Rav Shache and lifted up his hand against Sirian and boasted proudly. Then trembled their hearts and hands and they were in pain as women in travail. But they called upon Yahuwah, which is merciful, and stretched out their hands toward him. And immediately the Holy One heard them out of heaven and delivered them by the ministry of Yeshayahu. He smote the host of Ashur, and his angel destroyed them. For Yaqiz ki Yahu had done the thing that pleased Yahuwah, and was strong in the ways of David his father, as Yeshayahu the prophet, who was great and faithful in his vision, had commanded him. In his time, the sun went backward, and he lengthened the king's life. He saw by an excellent ruach what should come to pass at the last, and he comforted them that mourned in Sion. He showed what should come to pass forever, and secret things, or ever they came,